Governor Greg Abbott. He had his primary today and is, will be moving on to face Beto O'Rourke in November. He is speaking right now. He won with 68% of that vote today. Let's listen in right now. He's speaking live in Corpus Christi. We are going to deliver a Texas for working families who can flourish under the opportunities provided by the ninth largest economy in the entire world. <laughs> Where students can graduate from high school prepared and inspired to go on to college or to a high paying career right here in Nueces County, Texas. <laughs> Texas where we there is Governor Greg Abbott he won that uh, in the primaries the governor he coasted that victory after beating a handful of contenders tonight we do have a reporter there Roseanne Aragon is there listening in and we are going to check in with her in just a few minutes in the meantime we're also following former Texas Congress former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke he won the Democratic Party's nomination and he now faces Governor Abbott in the November Eighth election. Our team coverage continues with KPRC 2's Brandon Walker live from Fort Worth. Brandon. And good evening to you, Daniela and Keith. You just saw that live shot from Corpus Christi of Governor Abbott. Well, here is his Democratic challenger, Beto O'Rourke, taking pictures with and meeting supporters here tonight. It didn't take long for O'Rourke to declare victory here in the Democratic primary election for governor. That's not a surprise, but he does face a stiff challenge going into November's general election against Governor Abbott. A packed crowd of O'Rourke supporters listened with enthusiasm tonight as O'Rourke made his pitch to Texans including those still on the fence. He says he understands the challenge ahead, taking on Governor Abbott, who has more money in his campaign war chest. He says that people is his answer to combating that force. Tonight, the campaign reported signing over 53,000 volunteers to pound the pavement. He says they've reached 4.5 million eligible voters during the month of February alone. Still, you got to remember, Republicans gained voters in 2020, especially along the border. So with that, I ask or work about his plans, particularly what makes his approach any different. And I also agree, Democrats are partly to blame for our losses in 2020 because we have not been showing up in these communities and we have not been reflecting what's important to those whose votes we're asking for. I'm not going to make that mistake, and that's why I keep showing up and keep reflecting back what I'm hearing. And back here live, Beto O'Rourke continuing to take pictures with and speak to supporters here tonight at this uh, brewery in the Fort Worth area. He says that his plan ahead is to uh, continue to campaign along the border and speak to voters about the issues he say that Governor Abbott has avoided. He says primarily that includes access to adequate health care and public education. We're live in Fort Worth. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.